Hi guys, Cliff here, Cliff Harvey RC Planes. The next part of the build will be uh, possibly the tail feathers because I'm ready to offer up the tail plane really which I haven't built yet and wings so the next part of the build is going to be certainly the tail feathers if not the wings but I like to start with the tail feathers because uh, then I can sort of semi-complete the fuselage before I start on the wings. I just like to assemble it that way around. So, and I've got some components in the box. In fact, they're all in the box. So let's see what we need. We need S2, R2. So, of course, I'm going to use an elevator on the back. So what I'll do, I'll make up the tail make up the elevator and cut the elevator off afterwards so i need 16th balsa so i'm not going to pin it at all no that's okay that'll hold that will hold my booty now i think i can cut this in half and i'll get two out of this so it's roughly in half about there And stick off the ends and I'll trim them afterwards and I've decided I'm going to make the elevator a little bit bigger if I hinge it on the line I can hinge it. it's going to leave me with a tiny little tiny little uh, elevator so what I'm going to do is to make the elevator slightly bigger and then I can hinge it on a on um, a bit further back Going to be hinged further back from the original hinge position scale hinge position i should say there we go it's the outer frame in position That's pretty good. So the new elevator is going to be just slightly bigger, just to take into account the um, the fact that I can't hinge it from there because the actual aeroplane is in the way. I've got to put another piece that forms the leading edge of the elevator. Now I've got to put another piece in right next to it, which will form the uh, trailing edge of the tailplane. Uh, I suppose I could leave a pin in, but look, I'm going to come back in a minute. We'll glue a few of these little sticks in. All right, guys, I'm cracking on here. I've put an extra spar in here because I put the rear spar, trailing edge spar back a little bit for the elevator i've got quite a big gap of uh that i'm not happy with so i'll put an extra spar in but unfortunately of course it means i've got lots of extra fiddly bits of wood to fit i'll glue them in in a minute it's all part of the fun isn't it so let's unpin it Start with the outer pins. Yep, one there, one there. And one there, one there. Okay, now obviously the, the, the um, frame has been glued to the plastic. Let's see if I can hold it down and peel the plastic back as if we're taking off a vinyl transfer sticker or something. Right, there we are. One glorious tailplane. OK, 
Okay, that's better. Now let's offer it back up and we shall see that we've got plenty of meat to which to attach to the um, covering material. I don't know if you can see this. So when I glue that on, I can cut the covering material where the fuselage goes and glue balsa the balsa, which I couldn't do before I put that wood in. Okay. So there's the tailplane. So we're going to start the rudder now. And I'm going to start by placing this front piece. And I'm going to just put one pin in for the minute reason for that is I want I might have to pivot it slightly just to get this next bit lining up now it's pretty good as it should be I build on this builders plasterboard by the way it's uh, it's just an ideal medium I'll glue that bit straight in look that one's okay, that one's just not quite enough of a angle there. I mark this one with a slot down that end. I'm going to offer it up then guys. So that goes in there. Then that goes on Oh, trim the bottom of that off. Didn't come off with the trimming. It goes up there somewhere like that. So it's not going to stay there. Well, you get the idea. So, uh, call that call that enough work for tonight guys and whether I'm going to make this a a uh, video on itself because it's surprising how long it all takes what a very pretty little rudder that is and Finn what lovely shape to have land designed yeah so there we are guys you're looking at neither me nor the plane so there we are guys um that's i'm going to stop there for tonight i do have work tomorrow morning tomorrow we'll probably start on the wings so thanks for looking in like and subscribe do you like the wings coming out of my head how about that um like and subscribe and uh, we'll follow the bill together if you've got any questions put them below in the comments uh you subscribe by pressing that little button there or the link down below in the comments and i'm quite pleased with that let's finish off by showing you it again shall we don't knock over there we go oops oops oh dear did knock it over hi guys um i built the wings uh, but the videos that i recorded building them uh, for some reason have become corrupted so I've, um, I'm just going to do this little short video. I'll just show you what I did. I think I've got the phone sussed, um, camera, yeah, sussed out now. But this is what I was um, just putting together just for a final shot. Hopefully, if you're seeing this video, it's now because I've got it worked out. There's the aeroplane with the wings. Obviously, they're just, um, they're not fitted. They're just sitting there, mocked up as we like to do. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the wings have fallen, they do have dihedral, they've just uh, collapsed under the weight themselves. And I just sat the cockpit on just for uh, effect. Oops, sorry, just for effect. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. The next stage of the build is going to be, um, well, I've got to, well, obviously sand the wings. I'm not far off starting to cover actually so um, there's a gentleman by the name of Carl Shorter who sent me some lovely silver covering which I plan to use thank you Carl 
and pop that there and, uh, and it's going to look quite stunning uh, obviously I've got to cover the um, uh, tail feathers first before I can glue those on uh, oh, they, I've got to make a, a dihedral brace for the wings something that's going to go all the way through just wondering how I could do it actually I'll have to think about that but yeah there's various bits that I've got the cowl to stick on the front just a matter of working out the order of uh, doing things now I want to paint the inside of the airframe black I don't like balsa wood showing I've got a couple of little um, cockpit uh, instrument panels to fit got to fit paper mouldings over the three areas of the cockpit and then I can look at covering got the undercarriage to bend up oh, all these things all great fun and I'm thinking that I might end up having to um, maiden this one on the uh, around the pole radar controlled around the pole check out my other videos if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, so yeah thanks for looking in like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time thanks bye